In my experience as a teacher, um, one of the more potentially frustrating or potentially uh, confusing issues involving radicals seems to be this concept of simplifying radicals that are not perfect squares or perfect cube roots, uh, perfect square roots or perfect cube roots or fourth or fifth or whatever you have you. Um, but the most important skill, I think, for making that easy is the understanding that we have illustrated up here on the top right, and that is that the square root of some number multiplied by the square root of another number is the same thing as the square root of those two numbers multiplied together. And that really is used backwards in the other direction on a very regular basis, particularly when you're simplifying radicals. Let me show you how that works. If we have the square root of 32, and we're trying to find out what that is, the square root of 32 is not even. The square root of 36 is 6, and the square root of 25 is 5. So it's going to be somewhere between 5 and 6, but we don't know where. But 32 could be written as, this, this uh, square root of 32 could be written as the square root of 16 times 2, because 16 times 2 is obviously 32. And 16 is a number that we know the square root of. It's a perfect square. So we could then break this apart again using our little trick here and write this as the square root of 16 times the square root of 2 and then take the square root of 16 out. We know it's 4, so we'll write it separately and just leave the square root of 2 as it is. So now we have 4 square roots of 2, which is obviously a simpler version than square root of 32. This gives us the opportunity to do something with the 4 separately. Square root of 72 would be square root of 36 times 2. And 36, we know, that's 6. Once you've done this a couple of times, you don't have to break out the second step here. You can just recognize that what, we're, what we'll be doing is that and then deleting one of those. So we can kind of think of pulling a number out. We know the square root of 36 is 6, so we cross it out inside and we put the square root of it back outside. So then we have 6 square roots of 2, just sort of a shortened process there. 125, well, that would be 5 times 25, and 25 we know, so it becomes 5. So we have 5 square roots of 5. Now for the second set here, what we're, the only difference here is that we're using uh, powers or roots really that are bigger than 2. So now we have the cube root of 32. Again, not even. Um, it's an even number, but the cube root of 32 isn't going to be even. So if we try and figure out what that might be, well, we know 2, 2 cubed is 8. So if we could break this apart so that there was an 8, 8 times 4 maybe, 8 times 4 would help because we know the cube root of 8. So we could pull it out, put our 2 outside, and put 2 cube roots of 4. And that's, that's easier. Uh, for the fourth root of 32, well, now we need a bigger number than 8 to pull out. We need something that has an even fourth root, so let's try 16. If we have 16 times 2, and we're looking for the fourth root, well, the fourth root of 16 is 2, so now we have two fourth roots of 2 instead of two cube roots of 4. And then fifth root of 729, well, 729, I know divides by 3 because 7 plus 2 is 9 plus 2 is 18 and 18 divides by 3. So if we divide that whole thing by 3 we get 243 times 3 and we're looking for the fifth root. Fifth root of 243 is 3 so we get 3 fifth roots of 3. And now the, the only other real sort of slightly different skill we need to work on is the idea of using fractions. And really, I say slightly different because it's almost exactly the same idea. Just like you can take two multiplication, uh, two numbers that are multiplied by each other and put them under the same root, you can take two numbers that are divided by each other under the same root and split them up. So the square root of 9 16 is the square root of 9 over the square root of 16. So that gives us 3 over 4. Cube root of 5 8 is the cube root of 5 over cube root of 8. Cube root of 5 we don't know, cube root of 8 we do. So then we have the cube root of 5 over 2. And then the square root of 25 80 firsts would just be the square root of 25 over the square root of 81 or 5 ninths.